the Boss DD200 Digital Delay. Let's check it out. So before we go any further, I need to let you know that Boss reached out to me and asked if they could send me a DD200 so I could try it out. Of course I said, heck yeah. So I've had this unit for about, I don't know, a couple weeks, two, three weeks, and uh, I've really enjoyed using it. So Boss is marketing this delay pedal kind of sitting between the flagship DD500 and the compact DD series delays. And as a matter of fact, I've kind of come to think of it as a best of DD500, if you will. It can get a lot of the sounds of the DD500, but it's easier to use. There's, it's very simple. There's not a lot of complexity. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I've got the delay right now set up on the standard delay type, and here's what it sounds like. You know, it's just that classic kind of clear digital delay. So as we look at the controls, um, you'll find them very simple. We've got the time knob. And as you would expect, you can easily adjust the time with that knob. As a matter of fact, on most of the delays, it goes up to a full five seconds of delay, which is really nice. There's also a tap tempo. We'll get that back into shorter delay. There's also a feedback knob. If it's all the way counterclockwise, you get one repeat, as you would expect. If you turn it all the way clockwise, You get a lot of repeats. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. All right, uh, effect level is on the uh, upper right hand side and it just controls the wet dry balance as you would expect. All right, the uh, knobs on the second row, we've got delay type and, and I'm gonna go through all the types here in a, in a minute. Well, actually a lot of minutes, but uh, we'll, we'll check them out. And then with, there's a parameter knob, which is really interesting. Each delay type has a parameter that is unique to that particular type. So on the standard delay, which I'm on, for example, the parameter knob controls the attack of the delay repeats. So this is a parameter all the way at zero. And as each repeat occurs, you can hear the attack. Let me go ahead and bring it up halfway and here's what it sounds like. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's it feels a little bit like a reverse reverb. I like that a lot. Not every delay that I own has an attack control for the delay. It's the delay repeats. And man, that's that's really cool. It's almost like a violin effect. All right, let me bring it back down to zero. We've got a tone knob in the middle. Here's the tone kind of uh, set in the middle. Bring the tone knob all the way down. Bring the tone knob all the way up. Nice and bright. So you get a lot of tonal variants uh, or variations available to you in each of the delay type. Okay, and then finally, in terms of the knob um, options, you've got a modulation depth knob. And you may note right now, the delay is basically a mono delay. So if you've got headphones or, or good speakers, you'll be able to hear that delay right down the middle. If I bring up the modulation depth, you're gonna hear it begin to uh, repeat in stereo. And what 
what I've found from playing around with the unit is um, I tend to, I am tending to leave that modulation depth at about 25% just to create a little bit of space and width in the delay repeats. <laughs> Next up is the tap division. There's a lot of options here. I'm just going to show you a couple just to give you a feel for how it works. So I've got it right now set up to a quarter note tap. And you can see I've got a tempo tapped in. And here's what that sounds like. We should get one repeat every time the, uh, the tempo light blinks. <laughs> Okay, great. Now if I switch it, I'm going to hit that button there. Now I'm set to the dotted eighth, kind of that classic U2 kind of rhythm kind of thing. You see that the tempo is still kind of sitting at the same pace. So if I can play it here. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I, I like the way it works because you, the tap tempo, the pulse never changes. So if you get a little confused like I do sometimes with a tap division, you can always look down and kind of recalibrate your tempo just by looking at the light. Now there are a lot of different options. I'm not going to go through them all like I said, but it's very flexible and you'll definitely be able to find a pattern that works for your piece of music. I'm going to go ahead now and run through all the other sounds. I'm going to stop talking. You can just listen. You'll see me twiddle with a few knobs. Let's get going. Thank you. 
What say you? Does the DD200 occupy kind of a, that sweet spot between the DD500 and those small form factor DD pedals? Go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would do so and hit the bell notification. See all of you on the next video.